Alyssa Morrison with the On Your Side forecast. Felt a little warm out there today for Thanksgiving, didn't it? Well, it actually was. We're looking at some record setting temperatures. We'll have to wait till the official totals come in. But it looks like Boise reached a high of 65 today, beating out the record set back in 1897 of 64 degrees. So record setting heat today for Thanksgiving. It's time of year. Very, very warm. Take a look at that normal temperature. Should be about 44 degrees today. Overnight low, even a little bit warm last night. 46 degrees should be below freezing this time of year. There's your live look at downtown Boise. That's the view from the Grove Hotel, courtesy of our Toyota dealer tower cam network. 62 degrees right now, a little breezy wind out of the southeast at 13 miles per hour. Sunset tonight officially at 513. Temperatures around the region 51 in Stanley, very warm in the mountains today as well. So some of that snow melting off 58 in Twin Falls, 60 in Mountain Home, 54 in Ontario, 52 right now in McCall. Taking a look at that Doppler radar, we're expecting some showers overnight tonight. You can see showers throughout the panhandle today. Also some lingering shower activity throughout the Magic Valley and we could see more showers tonight in the Treasure Valley after 11 or midnight tonight. Taking a closer look, showers making their way through the Twin Falls area heading into the southeastern portion of the state into the Utah area as well. Today in Stanley, like I said, snow doing some melting 33 degrees, so a warm morning for Stanley for this time of year and then a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. And what everybody saw pretty dry for most of us. We're seeing some sprinkles later on in the day, but dry for for the morning part of the day, some sunshine temperatures getting up into the mid 50s for highs. So that's abnormal for this time of year as well. In McCall, warm morning too for them. 40 degrees about 8 o'clock this morning. You can see a lot of the snow they had previously in the week has melted off. They saw a lot of sunshine today. Temperatures getting into the upper 50s for highs. Tomorrow, temperatures going to take a dip and we're expecting some showers to linger from overnight into tomorrow morning. Looking at that future cast about 5 a.m. doing some Black Friday shopping. You could see some showers throughout the Treasure Valley. Magic Valley expecting some showers could see some snow in the mountains and the very high elevations. The warmer temperatures obviously lifting that snow level a little bit higher for the entering the weekend and then overnight on Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, Saturday afternoon, we'll see an increase of cloud cover and then Sunday morning we could start seeing some more shower activity as well and then snow in the mountains. Monday, probably the best day for more snow in the mountains, at least in the lower elevations, but showers throughout the weekend possible for most of us. So in the Treasure Valley tomorrow, slight chance of rain lingering overnight tonight, but temperatures taking a dip for your Friday, 53 in Ontario, 52 in Caldwell, 53 in CUNA and Mountain Home, Boise, 52 for the high. So about 10 to 12 degrees cooler across the board in the Treasure Valley in the West Central Mountains. Snow level about 7,500 feet, partly cloudy skies. Could see some fog in the McCall area tomorrow. 40 for their high, 49 in Council, 50 in Riggins. In the East Central Mountains could see some lingering snow showers in those higher elevations and then afternoon sunshine, partly cloudy throughout the day. 40 in Stanley in the Magic Valley. Showers in the morning, a little breezy. Winds out of the West, 51 in Twin Falls, 50 in Burley, 51 for your high. In Shoshone, taking a look at that extended forecast over Overnight tonight, staying warm, 44 degrees for your Friday, 52, and then even warmer throughout the weekend. So I thought we were saying goodbye to the 60s. Looks like the 60s have made a return. We could see the 60s again maybe on Sunday. Looks like we're getting up to 59 degrees again. Chance of showers Sunday into Monday, and then temperatures closer to average by the middle of next week. If we're not going to have skiing, we might as well have almost spring-like conditions. And some sunshine as well. That's right. Thanks, Marissa. Well, there are